Hi, in this video we're going to review the Flowsum native repository on the Flowsum solution. Flowsum has a native repository version and source control, control um, tools within the solution. So it's an all-in-one solution completely in Salesforce that allows you to do all of your CI, CD deployment activities without need for any external tools. You don't need for an external repository, uh, any external deployment tools. It's all self-contained in the one package. Now we do offer you the ability to integrate with external repositories. So if you're using a Git based solution such as GitHub, Azure DevOps, things like that, you can set it up so the so the Flowsome repository automatically syncs with the Git based repository real time so none of your changes are lost regardless of where they're made. So it is a typical repository. You can have multiple repositories in Flowsome. And then you can break it down by a few different ways to review what is in here. So you can see I have a few different versions of my profiles in here. I can go through and determine I just want to look at Apex triggers. Uh, I can see I have a few of them. Or I can go back in and I can say find me everything that contains the word context in it. And it will come back and find the different things in here. And you can see that we'll show you what version number we're at with those different components. So in this case, we're at version number three. So let's see what a entry in our repository looks like when there are multiple versions. So we give you some basic information. We have a component number, the version it's on, who changed it, you know, last time it was changed, when it was committed to the repository, um, who created it, etc. all that information. And then we'll go in and we'll show you the historical data in here. So you can see I have three versions in here. I want to compare version one and version three to see what the differences are. So I click on the comparison, and you'll see it's our typical comparison tool that comes up. And in version 3, I have a couple of extra comments in here that are not in my version 1. So these have been added as new objects. So I can very easily see the differences between the two. So if I needed to, you know, if I was looking to roll back to version 1, I can very easily see what the differences are in case I need to modify these in version 1 uh, to change something. So again, um, there are many, many ways you can look at this um, and see all the differences in here. Very easy, you can navigate through the pages. You can sort by different titles, however you need to do these things to get exactly what it is you want to see in here. But again, every object, all the history is stored in here and is available to you throughout the solution at any given time if you need to roll it back. Um, or just to see differences for reporting purposes. Thank you.